Yo, good evening everybody, hope you're well and welcome to this Friday chilled out live stream that we have today. Um, yeah, not too much has happened, obviously I've done a YouTube video earlier today for free on the public side of things. Also, if you haven't watched it already and you're a member, obviously George and Victor have both done updates today. So there's already been two updates for the members one update uh for the public and now you've got another live stream here obviously uh, another public one uh where this one's got obviously going to be more chilled out um i'll give you a quick update first of all of what's happened since i released that update obviously that update was released around 12 uh 12 o'clock uk time so that was roughly about six and a half hours ago more or less um Really simply since then, uh, we were just trying to see that double bottom, okay? This double bottom was trying to form uh, just as I was making that video. Really simply, once I got out of that video, took a look at the order flow off the bounce off of that end, out of the back of that double bottom, and this is what people want to see. People want to have more like obvious, calm, non-trolling, serious updates inside of the group, and that's what I'm doing now, I'm, um, you know, not being as much as a troll in general chat and being a bit more serious because that's what people want and so i got out of that video took a look at the order flow and gave this simple update to my team of hey obviously it's trying to form that double bottom but really simply i'm going to remain in my short trades as the title of this video short and chill there's no need for me to be looking to long this why because i believe we're going lower two hours later we obviously got that drop lower the double bottom that people were buying they all got stopped out and that was on this drop after that drop to the downside we obviously saw this relatively quick move to the upside which reminded me personally of the move up from the move up from the blah 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 wednesday evening and again this is all updates that i'm continuously like writing in my group now being like more serious you can just see through here my last um uh the last post that we had in here obviously this was reminding me first of all of the moves from um the moves from wednesday obviously on wednesday evening you saw a really 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 similar move okay where you had that quick move to the upside okay quick move to the upside uh like this taking out the premature highs and then obviously grinding all the way back down and in the end obviously what happened was we took the highs, we got back down below for the short opportunity, TP1, 40,100, and obviously then we come down and we took the lows once more again. Um, EG giving you, you know, two different short opportunities here. Now what's happened again, we took the lows once more, we come back up once again uh, for another lower high. So for me, really simply, I am obviously short, uh, not so interested in longs right now uh really simply just gonna like chill for the rest of the evening rest of the evening probably the weekend as well i'm not really that interested in trading anymore for the weekend um we can imagine that whatever happens on the weekend will probably be reversed next week um what i would advise people i, I guess advise it say not the right word tip a tip for people is look at the es all you need to have done today is look at the es and realize the likelihood of bitcoin bouncing is extremely low eg shorting bitcoin has been the better trade when you look at the larger picture look at the es today massive 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 weakness okay since the open just continued weakness the whole day so when you're seeing such massive weakness on the es why would you be thinking bitcoin is going to get a big bounce well, the answer is you really wouldn't be. Um, so, yeah, this is obviously aided greatly. And I've been telling my team this for a few days now. Look at the ES. It's given great heads up. The correlation is strong, e.g. Bitcoin week. Um, so, yeah, for me to get more bullish, I suppose, on Bitcoin is either definitely going to have to be either lower. OK, preferred, I suppose, lower or a sign of strength. Let's at least change. Let's at least break out of this range. It's the same as I said in the update six and a half hours ago. For me, the sign of strength would be at least breaking that range. It's been unable to do that. There's been no sign of strength. Shorts are absolutely um, chilled, calm, in profits, no worries in the world. Um, so until we start to see some pressure 
put on those shorts, why would I absolutely think differently right now? Okay. Uh, obviously, yes, the altcoins are pulling back heavily today as well. And that includes even the ones that I'm bullish on. Of course, DOT, I'm bullish on. For, this is long term bullish, not necessarily short short term. But for the medium long term, I'm bullish on these assets. But of course, they're going to be pulling back. <laughs> this is just a given. If Bitcoin is going to be pulling back like this, of course, these altcoins are going to be pulling back as well. So, um, yeah, you see it across the board. DOT down, Atom down, GRT down. Pretty, pretty much every altcoin give or take a few you know we're talking about 80 percent of the altcoins are down today um to be expected uh but the opportunities are obviously going to start to come up again i would have thought the start of next week we're going to start to see the opportunities arise once again um so yeah i'm, I'm imagining that we get quite a quiet weekend quite a quiet choppy weekend um not too interesting um any levels which i would come back for obviously if we hit the lower daily if we reclaim the top of this range these are levels that i would trade because i don't imagine i'm going to be doing anything so exciting this weekend obviously just got back from columbia this is my first week back in england and columbia pretty much <laughs> columbia nearly killed me man like <laughs> done a lot of partying so um i think this weekend i'm just gonna be like chilled <laughs> have a relaxing weekend for the first time in a long time so i'm gonna be around at my computer so that means if there is a trading setup that occurs or that comes to me i'll take it for sure i'm not gonna miss the trades because i'm i'm gonna be around um but I'm only going to trade if there's a really, really good setup. I'm not going to be like sculpt trading the weekend. I'll only trade if it hits one of those two levels uh, and it looks exciting. It looks good enough to trade. If, if nothing happens, it just chops around in between those two levels, then I'm not going to trade the weekend and I'll just be like chilling. Um, anyway, good evening, everybody. I hope that you are. I hope that you are all OK. Uh, let's see at some of these comments then. Um, uh, let me go through some of these comments. Hello, 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 hello. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, people. Jason the Juggernaut in the house. What's on, mate? <laughs> uh, another Jason. Hello, mate. Oh, or is this Jason the Juggernaut that you're referring to? Probably is. Hello. <laughs> I knew this guy because he's an absolute legend that helped me with the Twitter. Um, legend. Love you, Jason. Um, keep grinding all. Trader R. Hopefully he's in the house. Oh, my omniscient 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 i i can't pronounce the name very well but i know who you are welcome hello my friend nice to see you here again um hello 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 daniel has high caliber fans he has no idea if, <laughs> maybe <laughs> short and chill yes go 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 uh the fifth yeah that fifth fibonacci fan oh my god you guys want to see one of the best things in the world OK, you want to see like just how strong Fibonacci fans are. If you're a champion, you have already seen this. But uh, if you are not a champion, then I guess you haven't seen this. And that was with this Fibonacci uh, channel when it timed a high here by BAM to the absolute dollar. So there you go. Yeah. Fibonacci fans, we have obviously absolutely love you. And obviously the fan, uh, la, 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 the channel. Sorry, that's the channel that we were on about. And obviously, this is the Fibonacci speed fan. So the speed fans, the channels, look at that. Bam, 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 bam. Right over the top on the 10th of February. So yes, we do love the Fibonacci fans and we love the Fibonacci channels. We love Fibonacci, period. <laughs> Sound okay. <laughs> it's good, man. Uh, for once, it wasn't someone saying, sounds, uh, you're on mute or something. <laughs> the boys delivering the goods today. Yeah, we have, we have delivered the goods and more. <laughs> um... <laughs> maybe i won't stop the trolling altogether <laughs> but i'm gonna do less trolling and more serious posts but of course i'm gonna be like i think it's impossible to, for me to stop fully because i actually enjoy trolling <laughs> but but more more i think like toning down the trolling so there's not so much general track for me used to just be like full troll like the whole time just trolling uh now i'm gonna do like 80% serious pose, keep it serious and then have a little bit of fun in the in the evening, like night, like now. Now would be my time to trolling once I've stopped training. But during the training day, I want to keep it focused, serious. Uh, basically, more people find it that helpful, naturally. <laughs> uh, no, I said I was long. <laughs> uh, bless you, Daniel. Hope you're doing well. 
Are you making some sort of documentary about your charity work? Um, we haven't got a documentary planned per se. No, we haven't got anything like that planned. We've got like a few uh, videos planned about documentary work, um, about, docu about charity work of charities that I'm supporting that I feel are really, really, really good and could, um, yeah. So yeah, the answer is yes, we have got a video planned if people want to see it about some of the charity work that we're doing on charities that I feel that are really, really, really good charities. Um, but it's not like a documentary per se. <laughs> it's more just, uh, I guess you could maybe class it as a documentary. I'm not sure. You'll, you'll see the video probably in like a month, month and a half, two months. Um, because then we need to still do work on it. Um, but yeah, we've recorded basically all of it. It just needs editing and I, uh, I, I, I'm not going to edit this. I need someone to do it. <laughs> uh, anyway, moving on. How much can DOT suffer? Of course, if Bitcoin suffers, DOT going to suffer. The alts are going to suffer as well. Um, wait for next week. The next week on the, da -da 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 -da, the 21st, you're going to see the 21st. Write it in your calendars. Don't forget the date. Uh, ES is the S&P 500. Yes. <laughs> he made it this guy made a twitch account just for this thank you very much <laughs> that means a lot <laughs> making the twitch for the champs monday is a public holiday in the u.s oh if that's the case then yeah we can probably expect lower volume until tuesday good to know uh, i lose track of when there's holidays in the u.s uh yeah it looks like the the new york stock exchange will be closed on monday because that's two people now saying it so that that makes me believe it's probably good uh and a fact espero que hayas disfrutado mucho el viaje a colombia la próxima vez ven a chile y te espero con un traje tremendo pues un viaje tremendo pues me parece fenomenal amigo y sí cuando vaya a, a, a chile pues vamos a hacer una fiesta grande pues <laughs> Uh, then the man, what have I missed? Not too much. Not too much, really, because not really too much has changed. Just went over the what's really happened in the last six hours. Not too much, though, really has happened. Um, how was your trip? Yeah, the trip was like literally epic, not going to lie. I absolutely loved it. <laughs> kind of missing it as well, not going to lie. I do miss it. What's up, Dan? Watching all the way from South Africa. Honestly, you're the only person in crypto that needs that need to watch, man. Thank you. <laughs> a lot of people are writing that recently. We're just the only people you need. And I appreciate that. Thank you. And all the way from South Africa. I'm sure we have people literally from all over the world here right now. You see, hola de desde Costa Rica. <laughs> Did you take your pajamas to Colombia? No. That's one thing I didn't bring. <laughs> Too hot. Too hot for that. And here we have the man, the, the myth, the legend himself, Yunez. Mr. Yunez over here. And Loz, is it your birthday? Well, if it is your birthday, Loz, I hope you have a brilliant birthday. Hope you have a brilliant day, mate. Have a beer on me. If you go to Weatherspoons, and I'll make that dream a reality. <laughs> um... There's no way you know me, haha, but thanks. That really made my day and I'll be back one day. A whole lot left to learn from you, not just trading. I actually do know you because I remember you. I remember you. I remember your comments. You are really, uh, you are really, you are a really nice guy. So I do remember you. And that is an honest fact. I wasn't just saying it. <laughs> I remember the username and I also remember your avatar. Um, so yeah. I noticed the people that are really kind and I know that you're a really, really kind person. So yeah, I respect that. Um, are the modules going to get an overhaul soon? The answer for that is yes. Obviously, we are literally in the process of reworking the whole of the modules. Every single module that we have is getting re-recorded because a lot of the feedback, you know, people give feedback, we listen to it, obviously. And a lot of the feedback is that the modules, some of the module videos are like two hours long. They want the two hour video in like 10 minutes so you wanted it we're doing it literally every single video is being re-recorded to transform the whole of the module into like a 10 minute video of course we're going to leave up the original video but then you'll also have a five minute video of it as well um um so yeah that that five ten minute video of it so yeah that's really good um <laughs> Yes, I am 
Only this is, this is funny. I I um seems like you have some Spanish speaking connections too. No, my um I am only English. I only have English family, like a hundred percent fully only English. But I just learned Spanish because basically because I love I love to travel, and that was kind of like a big thing for me of wanting to learn the language. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, te esperemos. Pues muchas gracias. Wow, we actually have so many. Oh, yeah, you want to hear a really funny story? We are going to keep monitoring this, by the way. But this is a really, really funny. This was a funny one. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll acknowledge two co comments here that I see in, in my view. The first one, what happened with the plane? Yeah, you want to hear a really crazy story? <laughs> so a really crazy story. We were in Cancun. And we were on our way to uh, Colombia. And the plane left Cancun. Everything fine, everything good. And about, this was probably about 45, the, the, the plane journey is about three or four hours. And about war, about, this was about 45 minutes into the plane journey. Uh, the, the pilot uh, gave the message, hey, we have like a massive urgent problem and we're going to need to like emergency land in the nearest airport. And obviously this was a little bit like, OK, this is really crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> are we going to die? Uh, and yeah, literally. So the plane left my left Cancun on its way to Colombia and we had to emergency land because of a massive urgent plane problem and we ended up in a random small island called San Andres um yeah that was really crazy <laughs> luckily we were fine the plane was fine um but some hydraulics apparently we didn't know this till we landed but then the hydraulics well, I guess they needed to work it all out. Like we found out a few days later that the hydraulics went in the plane and it was too dangerous to like stand. Well, this is protocol, isn't it? Protocol. <laughs> they they had to land. So we emergency landed in, in San Andres. Like that was really crazy. <laughs> it was also a bit scary. <laughs> I actually wasn't too scared. I literally was just thinking at the time, hey, if I die, I die. <laughs> it's my time. I, I wasn't actually scared. It was really weird. I... I I, I I don't know why. I wasn't scared. I was literally just thinking, hey, if I die, I die. <laughs> um, <laughs> which is probably really morbid. But uh, anyway, it's true. If I had died, I had died. Nothing I could have done about it. Um, Marxy says, do you, you have many people pretending to be you? Yeah, too many. Way, way, way too many on every single platform you can imagine. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. X, Y, and Z. If you own, if you know the social media, there's going to be someone pretending to be us. So you got to take great care. I try and warn people as much as I can. We are never going to DM you. We are never going to offer you. Uh, we're never going to say, hey, send us crypto. We're never going to say, hey, we'll trade an account for you. We're never going to say, hey, any. Basically, we're never going to contact you first. So when you understand that, you will know. If somebody follow, we're never going to follow you on social media either. So if somebody follows you on social media, this should be the first red flag. Like, hey, this is obviously a scammer that's going to DM me. The first red flag is us following you because I'm never going to follow you. Just take a look at my Twitter. Yeah, this is a big giveaway. I follow zero people. Why would I follow some random person? Uh, it's not going to happen. And the second red flag is that we're going to they're going to DM you. <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to DM you. Third red flag is they're probably going to say, hey, Follow us on this, send us some money, sign up to this exchange, X, Y, and Z. Like, this is just never going to happen, is it? I'm never going to do this. Uh, so, yeah, unfortunately, there are many people pretending to be us. If you have a little bit of common sense, it's very obvious. But unfortunately, many people fall for it. So you've got to be really careful. Um, yeah, that was crazy. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, hi from Macedonia. I'd like to get to Macedonia soon. Yeah, the old modules will still be available for watching as they are now 100%. They're not going away. Because I personally think, even though the, the video is like two hours and a lot of people don't like that, there's still so many like little golden nuggets. And I truly feel you are, you should watch the two-hour version. That This five, ten-minute version of the video is more like 
alongside it, not replacing. It's more alongside. So you have a quick recap per se. I personally feel you should 100% watch the two hour long video. Uh, some people moan, that, oh, it's two hours. Oh, you, you, what, you, what, you, half the video, you're talking about random stuff. And nothing's random. If I'm talking about it, it's not random. So in, yeah, I think you should listen to it all. But hey, people wanted a short version, so they're getting it. Uh, but I think you should listen to the long version. <laughs> well, you can listen to both now. That's the great thing about it. Uh, San Andres is beautiful. Yes, San Andres is hermoso. And San Andres is a good game as well. Yes, I, I believe this too. Um, <laughs> if you had died, I'd have been upset. Yeah, I think a lot of people would have been really upset if I died. Uh, thankfully, I'm okay though. Obviously, I want to... <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, I'm okay. Um, always be in a position in life where if you think you might die, your response is simply, I had a good run. Yeah, like my baby is obviously chart champions now. And uh, if I had died, well, the problem is if I had died on that plane, Mike would have also died as well. So chart champions would have taken a pretty big hit. <laughs> but at the very least, Igor, George, Victor, and the rest of the team would have been able to continue it. It would have been pretty bad. But yeah, like Chart Champions is my baby. This is like the legacy that I want to create. I want to just like have Chart Champions known as like the best trading education in the world. Like if you want to learn trading, you go to Chart Champions, period. And like this is what are the legacy brand, like I'm not sure how you call this. Legacy, brand, company, um, idea, prophecy. Who knows what the right word is? I don't really know the word for it. But I just want to create something that's, I, you know, like if I die, people will be like, hey, this is the guy that uh, changed my life. This is the guy that taught me everything I know about trading. I think uh, that would be a nice way to be remembered. So this is what I'm, I'm trying to do at the moment. This is what we we are doing every day, trying to do this. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Please come to India. Yeah, India is an interesting place. It is something that I'll go, but I'm, I'll be honest, it's not going to be within the next few years. The next big place I want to try and go is, um, well, try and go is like the wrong word. I mean, I could go tomorrow, but um, the next place that I want to go when I have time, for me, it's all about time. Like time is is uh, pretty hard to come by because I'm just really, really busy with projects. But next place I'll probably go, well, actually, the next place I'm going to go is not there. But one of the places I'm going to go into the future this year is probably Japan. I'm really interested in going to Japan because I like love. I'm a I'm a bit of a I'm a, well, I am a nerd. I love I love Pokemon. I love anime. I think Japan would be like cool just for like a week or two weeks. I kind of want to see it. I wouldn't want to live there though. I couldn't live in Asia, but nice for vacations. Um. <laughs> if somebody says never take the same plane with other chart champion staff members always different planes <laughs> yeah we didn't even like think about stuff like this that would have been pretty really crazy if that plane had gone down um <laughs> no joke, dang you. When I'm a successful trader, there is a picture above you in every fireplace of all my mansions. <laughs> that would be cool. Uh, let me see. Uh, started modules a few weeks ago. Well worth watching them all. Chart of the week, even from a couple years ago, learning not a lot. Yeah, I mean, some people, this is the crazy thing. We literally have people that come into the group and they moan saying, oh, um, you know, I'm watching a two hour video and one hour of it is you talking about chart of the week. This chart of the week is no longer useful for me. I'm not getting a signal from this. But, you know, people just really, um, you know, approach that the wrong way. Chart of the week, like, you know, let me talk about this for one minute. Of course, the chart of the week from two years ago is obviously not going to be any sort of signal now because it's two years old. But the thought process of why I was trading it, what, why I was looking for this trade, the reason I took the trade, this is still relevant now. And obviously, yeah, we have so many people that come in and moan that the video is like two hours long. Oh, one of half the video you're talking about chart of the week, it's outdated. Why is this relevant to me now? Um, you know, they have, literally, in my opinion, like this is just like the, the wrong mindset period. Like you can still watch the old chart of the week and 
think to yourself, why was I taking that trade? What was the reasons for taking that trade? What was the setup? You know, these are still things that I'm using two years now later. You know, yes, the setup is no longer there, but the reasons behind the trade are still relevant today. And yeah. So yeah, I appreciate you saying you watched even the chart of the weeks because I think you should. <laughs> um, anyway, moving on. Um, what is my favorite anime? Mm. Uh, my favorite one is probably Totoro. I love that one. To -to 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 Totoro. I love Totoro. But all of those uh, family of films I love a lot. And Chart of the Week is coming back, by the way. Chart of the Week has not been here for like, I want to say like five months. Um, but Chart of the Week is coming back, I would say within one month. It's been reworked. So it's coming back in a slightly different fashion. Um, but Chart of the Week, Chart of the Week will be here. I can tell you this within one month. So let's say we're at what now the start of, it'll be here before the start of April. I'll tell you that 100%. Yeah, you can hold me to that. And if it's not here by the start of April, you can copy and paste this segment of the video and say, Daniel, you lied. Because it will be here by one month, I can promise you. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> well, this is, what, this is what I mean. Bitcoin's falling asleep here really bad. But you have to remember that it's, it's Friday evenings market, the general markets are trying to shut, you know, your legacy markets are starting to shut down for the weekend. Vault Bitcoin volume is going to die off here. We aren't expecting too much big moves here, really. Um, this is why I'm just going to shorten you. Let me just check something. Yep. Okay. So... Yeah, we can see this is pretty nice for me anyway, if this loads. Come on. This is the funding rate on Bybit going back to 0 0.01. E.g. shorts are going to be getting paid again. Like, well, they are getting paid right now on the next funding rate. And then it's going back to 0 0.01. This is really good. So that's going back uh, to supporting shorts as well. So I'm pretty comfortable for the weekend. Unless we get a move out of that range. And if that happens, hey, hey, I'll happily acknowledge that and trade it. But until that happens, it's going to be signed out short positions. I mean, even if we get a rally, we now have this PDPOC back up at the highs as well. We're looking pretty decent at the moment. Um, oh, yeah, I mentioned this really quickly as well. This was something that Bybit messaged me about today. Uh, this is a new, uh, this is a new, what's the word, bonus campaign that they're doing you can actually get up to i mean maybe it doesn't interest you the uh you know the four thousand dollar bonus that you can get but this is for everybody under our affiliate you can actually get up to 30 percent off of your trading fees which is obviously like a really 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 massive um it's a really really big discount on fees so even if you like i don't know what's the word here even if you like um I mean, even if you don't really want to get any of the, the bonus money, having that fee discount is is really, 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 is a really, really big advantage because a lot of people are, you know, a lot of people moan that the, um, if you're scalping that, even though if you limit order, of course, when you limit order on Bybit, you get paid. But market order, of course, you're going to pay fees on the market orders. So having a 30% discount on your market fees this is obviously really, really, really massive. Um, so I do whatever you want, of course. <laughs> but I think this is a really, really good good time to take advantage on getting discount on trading fees. This really, this is a really, really, really big thing. Um, so you can make use of that if you want. Obviously, that's on our latest tweet. The details, really simply, you can sign up under our affiliate link. Then go over on to their um uh the, the page to register for this and then deposit and qualify obviously to do this you need to be trading you actually have to be trading <laughs> real money <laughs> even though we're a paper trading company of course but uh for this one you've got to be trading real money <laughs> but, 
or those people that trade real money obviously no no association with us i suppose and they, they, they can make use of the trading fees uh anyway let's digress on that topic very quickly <laughs> we have to be known as a paper trading company um well we have to be known as that because we are obviously um anyway let's let's digress and move on um Hey mate, hello guy from the Netherlands that I met. I hope you're doing well, mate. I hope that you are doing well. Yeah, I met this well, obviously we done a meetup in the Netherlands. What well, how many of us were entered that meetup? There was probably like 20, maybe 20 of us. And this guy came along with his dad. And uh yeah, I think you were 14 at the time. And he had like a trading book. It was pretty cool. The, 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 the kid had like a trading book with all of our all of our like uh topics on and like yeah, he was studying hard. Him and his dad were studying hard, so that was really cool to see. So yeah, nice to see you again, mate. Hope you're well. Um your humility is unmatched in the trading world, bro. Huge love for that. Can we have a UK link up soon? Yeah, the UK UK meetup. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, the answer is yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, man. I like to do the meetups. For me, they're like really, really, really fun. So yeah, the answer for that can be yes. Um, um, <laughs> look at this uh, and his father is also watching great to see you again how cool is that father and son both watching this stream hope you're both well hope you are both very well indeed um that's cool that, that's really that is really 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 cool <laughs> um you're both both crushed the charts together uh where we should we go now then so i think well let's be honest nothing is happening here on the bitcoin chart this is slow how many minutes are we into the stream Man just got banned on on Twitch. Literally, what is this? Why did I get banned? It makes no sense. Why are they banning me? What the hell, man? So as you can probably tell right now, last night we got fully banned on Twitch, like the account just full takedown for life, uh, for absolutely nothing. There's mass reports against the channel, and the Twitch bot bam <laughs> deletes the channel. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but hey, this is <laughs> this is the life of a champ. Uh, you got to get knocked down. All I can ask for is your support to try and help us get the channel back. If we don't, it's not the end of the world, but it would be nice to have it back because this is the place where I like to go and chill with you all. Um, so if you can come over and support us, that would be really, really, really helpful. Obviously, we got this tweet out, um, which is basically just trying to get the attention of Twitch to, you know, all they need to do is do a manual review and they will see, you know, this is a ridiculous ban for absolutely no reason at all. Um, obviously, they're saying about copyrighted videos. I mean, it's impossible. It was my own content as well as re broadcasting other people's content i mean it, it just makes zero sense uh of course none of those things happens um so yeah if you can give us some support that would be brilliant i'll leave in the comments down below the link to this tweet you can give it a, a like a retweet at twitch at twitch support see if they can uh you know see if we can get their attention uh, that would be really, really, really appreciated. If not, hey, you'll see me still over in Discord. You'll see me on YouTube uh, as as normal. But uh, yeah, that'd be really, really nice if you could, uh, you know, give some support against the uh, trolls uh, <laughs> that got us banned in the first place. So thank you ever so much. And uh, I'll catch you around, I suppose, in the next YouTube video or Discord. Thank you ever so much. Love you all and goodbye. Cheers.